Hey, Christian Ock here for Insight Media. It's, uh, it's the Sony booth, CES 2023. We're going to take a look at their volumetric capture demonstration here. So, oh. so what this fellow is doing is giving instructions right now to this uh, this participant here about how he's going to, uh, how they're going to do the volumetric capture. Uh, what's kind of unique about what they're showing here is this is not 106 cameras, which is that way multi many volumetric capture studios are configured. This is seven cameras. Uh, you can see there's four high and three low. Uh, these are basically off-the-shelf Microsoft cameras. Uh, these, th these can be 4K or 2K resolution. Uh, these happen to be 2K in this case. Uh, they include a, a visible sensor as well as an IR uh, depth sensor in each of them. Uh, and so what they do once you capture the data, uh, you're, you render this into a, a point cloud representation uh, and then photogrammically render the, the textures on top of that, uh, that uh, point cloud. Now, according to the developers, uh, this data is sent up to the cloud at this point, uh, sent up to the cloud where it is now you can see here's here's the uh, here's the render of what this guy just did over here uh, it's actually a it's it's got a lot of artifacts in it here it's low resolution uh, on this screen as you can see and then you can see the point cloud parts coming in and out of that uh, so it takes about 200 megabits of bandwidth to go up to the cloud with that data uh, where it's rendered by again it depends on the resolution and frame rates but it's uh, on the order of eight to ten GPU instances, so that's a, you know, that's a fairly beefy instance uh, up there, uh, and then it's downloaded um, to the to this dis to the display here, this local display. It takes about 15 seconds of delay uh, in order to do that. Um, uh, and hold on, just checking my notes here. Yeah, so the, the, the final image I was told is on the order of uh, 500 to 1,000 pixels, uh, which, uh, judging by that quality, is even marginal for a, a 2K display, it seems to me. There seems to be a lot of, uh, a lot of artifacts that you saw. Uh, but that's, uh, that's pretty much the story. The fact that you can uh, start to reduce this uh, to this level uh, of, of cameras, um, interesting. And, of course, they're going to be working on the fidelity uh, of that image going forward. That's Chris Chinock at Insight Media.